Welcome to showing my new fastest lap for the 500 performance point quick match at Trial Mountain Reverse. I've already done a tutorial showing how to be fast around this track in this vehicle, and this here vehicle is the Dodge Ram, and that is linked in the description. This is just showing the lap itself, and that lap is a 132.6. I think with a perfect lap, which luckily I still have, I guess, four or more weeks to do it, depending if they switch them next time around or not, I think I can get a 132.4, or maybe even a high three. I know that sounds a bit greedy, but it ain't cutting the track in a way that PD gives penalties for, and it ain't using skid recovery force, which is proven by the picture that I showed. So, it's legit in the eyes of Polyphony Digital, so I guess it's legit to me, even though it's kind of cut to track in what would be considered a lot of people's eyes, but not PD's eyes, so I'll show y'all how I did it, and I'll show y'all basically how you can cut to track and not get penalized. To start off, the, the turn leading to the last turn, you can cut it completely. Like, as long as you don't hit that wall there, you can cut it completely and this turn you can too but it is a little bit of a hill so it doesn't really benefit you all that much doing so because the kit the hill gets you a little bit cattywampus so yeah do that at your own risk but anyway going into the lap here you go i said i ain't really gonna do this as a tutorial i'm just gonna show the lap because well it's basically the same as the tutorial itself just smoother and cutting the track more honestly and well here you go if you want to see the tutorial that is linked in this video and on GT Planet and if I do get like a 132.4 I might do a new tutorial because that would be a full second faster than the one before but for now, I really so see no need in truly doing it because all that's really needed to see here is where to cut the track more, pretty much. Everything else is the same. And the RAM is the same as it always is because it always mystifies. It's pretty cut and awesome. And remember, I'm also doing this with automatic transmission and a controller. So if you have a wheel, I'd say you could probably get a 132.3. If you're a mortal pilot with a wheel, you could probably get like a 131.9. If you're a mortal pilot cutting the track to the point of it gives you a penalty, but still actually gaining time because the penalty ain't enough. Plus with skid recovery force. I would say Dodge Ram, in every perfect circumstance possible, can do a 130.9 with every possible perfect circumstance. Any vehicle that can do a 130.9 is pretty much unstoppable. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed that, and yeah, that's my new best lap of the Dodge Ram, as legit as what the game considers legit, and it is a 132.6. I'm going to challenge myself to do 132.4. And this is, would be a good challenge for y'all too if you want to do it. Because, well, Rams are awesome. They always mystify. They're fun to drive and they're fast. So maybe, just maybe, y'all can beat the time too. And I honestly wouldn't be surprised. So hope y'all enjoyed this. And there will be more GT6 Quick Match videos in the future. Yeehaw!